Hey everyone, it's Elias here and it's been about two months post-op since my top surgery. So let me go ahead and show you. So this is what my chest looks like. I'll come up closer so you can get a better look. I was finally able to take off the scar glue on my incisions about two weeks ago after seeing my surgeon at my six week post-op visit. So this is how they're looking. They are a little thicker towards the ends, obviously that's where I'm moving my arms a bit more, so that makes sense. If you haven't seen my previous videos about my top surgery, I did not have nipple grafts, so the areolas have actually retracted. The left nipple is still inverted, I've been massaging it and doing suction every day to try and get it to pop back out, but there is a bit of a depression right here. So I think I'm probably going to end up getting a revision. If in two months the nipple doesn't resolve, then I'm going to talk over with my surgeon about and see what we do next. I plan on doing a full scar care routine video later on, but just in summary, what I've been doing is scar strips every day. I'm usually wearing that all day. I'm just not wearing it right now for the sake of this video. That's been really helping to keep them flat and help them not feel so weird. When I'm bare and I don't have my scar strips, I can feel my body, but having the scar strips on throughout the day really helps just to go about and not have that funny feeling on my chest. Especially because I've been walking, going outside, having the silicone strip on me has definitely helped with sun protection. And then at night, I've been using Aquaphor just to keep them moisturized, keep them in a wet environment to promote healing. And yesterday, I actually started using a silicone scar gel with vitamin C. And it's too early to tell if it's effective or not, but I can say that when I woke up this morning, my scars felt noticeably flatter and smoother. So I'm really looking forward to how well the gel is going to end up being. Well, the sensation is slowly starting to come back. Um, I can feel more on my right side than I can on my left side. Like I said, this nipple is inverted, so I can't feel this one as much. And I do also notice that, you know, once I've done a massaging session, I tend to get shooting pains in the scar incisions, but I've heard that's normal. So if that's happening to you, or if you're worried about that, I wouldn't panic about it. I was previously using BioE oil to massage my scars, but I was actually advised that the vitamin E leads to a lot of breakouts in like one in three patients. Um, that's what my surgeon said. So I discontinued the use of that just because I'm very acne prone. I didn't want to risk anything. It's been really hot where I live. It's summer, it's July in Southern California. So recovering in the heat hasn't been very fun. So if you can, I definitely recommend having surgery in the colder months. As for sleeping, I'm still sleeping on my back. I have tried sleeping on my side because that's typically what's most comfortable for me. But when I do try to do that, there is a bit of a pull. So I think maybe in the next few weeks, maybe a month, I'll be back to sleeping on my side. So yeah, overall, you know, other than the inverted nipple and the depression in my chest on the left side, I am really happy with the results. Um, in the beginning, when I first had surgery, I was really concerned about how low my scars seem to be. Um, but now looking at it with all the skin tightening up, the swelling going down, I'm actually really liking the placement. And I'd say the same thing about the nipple areolar complex. The skin has retracted quite a bit, so they're smaller than when I first got surgery and they've only gotten smaller even since last month. If you liked this video and helped you out at all, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified every time that I post. I definitely will be making more of these videos, updating y'all over the months about how my surgery and scars are going. Thanks for watching. Bye.